If you are somebody who wants to be the fittest version of yourself, you're going to want to stay until the end of this video because we have something very important to talk about. And what we're essentially going to talk about is one of the most common mistakes that individuals often make when starting their fitness journey, doing any fitness goal for themselves, and it ultimately usually leads people to failing. And I don't want you to fail. I want you to succeed. I want you to be fitter. I want you to be healthier. So again, make sure to stay until the end because we have got some very, very interesting stuff to talk about. So um, by following the tips in this video, you are ultimately going to be able to be fit forever. Not just one day, not seven days, not until your wedding. You will literally be able to be fit for the rest of your life. Now, if that sounds too good to be true, it's not. It's something that I've implemented into my workouts and my overall lifestyle, and it's very simple for you to add into your lifestyle as well. So you're probably thinking, what in the world are you talking about, Logan? What is this little simple thing that I need to do? Well, let's talk about the infinite fitness mindset. Now, the infinite fitness mindset is this mindset that you need to be doing physical activity essentially for the rest of your life. And not just physical activity, this can also be things like diet, overall lifestyle, sleeping well. You need to have an infinite mindset to these things, as in, I'm going to be doing these things literally forever. Because as we know with fitness and health results, if you stop doing any of these things, even for a very, very short period of time, you're not going to be able to ultimately reap the benefits of health and fitness and wealth. Um, of course, when it comes to wealth of your body, right? Um, and that's a common mistake that many, many individuals often go to. So uh, many individuals often go with the normal fitness mindset. Now, what is the normal fitness mindset? Of course, the normal fitness mindset is I'm going to lose seven pounds to look good for my wedding. And then after that, I'll be good, right? I'll be able to reap all the benefits. I'll never have to work out again. Or the normal fitness mindset might be, I'm going to start this new diet because I heard somebody lost a bunch of weight. And once I lose a bunch of weight, I'm going to feel so good about myself. Well, here's the deal. Both of those things are focused on the end goal. They're focused on something outside of you. They're focused on an external thing that is ultimately going to make you feel happy or fulfilled. Um, but again, uh, whether it's life or fitness related, we know that these things will make you only feel good for a tiny, tiny bit. And when it comes to reaping the benefits of fitness and health and ultimately being fit forever, we need to be consistent with things. We need to not just have super, super focused motivation for a small period of time, like getting ready for a wedding or just getting lean for the summer, right? We need to have focus that lasts for literally the rest of your life. So if you're trying to uh, flip your overall mindset, we're going for the infinite fitness mindset. And again, that infinite fitness mindset is, I'm going to be doing physical activity, nutritious activities for my body. I'm going to be having a healthy lifestyle overall for my body for the rest of my life. That's how you need to be looking at fitness. What are small things, little things like that that I can implement into my life every single day that is ultimately going to allow me to do it forever? Because if you do that, man, think about it. Think about it. The person who can do fitness and health activities for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, how is your body going to look? How is your body going to look? It's going to look incredible because you've compounded these things so many years. If on the flip side, you are thinking about the normal fitness mindset of I'm going to lose, uh, you know, 10 quick pounds for the summer and I'm going to get a six pack. And then what happens after that? Well, you get the six pack and then you go back to your normal routines. And unfortunately, so many people do this and it leads them to failing overall in their fitness journey. So hopefully that gave you some value. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. We help individuals of all abilities improve their overall fitness 
and knowledge of the gym regardless of their current abilities in life. And if you also just started into the gym, I'm going to link another video right here talking about some of the fitness mistakes that I made when I first started out that I really, really regret. So go ahead and check that video out. Tell me you know